that's really funny because I, I, I feel very relaxed. Maybe because it's not um, game day. In, in when we have a, a game, I'm a different guy. But I really don't feel the weight. I'm really excited and I'm quite relaxed, you know. I, I think I, I am what, what I supposed to be. That's the feeling. Hello, everyone. If you're a Manchester United fan, today's episode is a treat. Did you catch Ruben Amorim's first interview as our new head coach? If you haven't, check the link in the description below. It dropped on Friday, and wow, what a breath of fresh air. At just 39 years old, Amorim has stepped into one of the most iconic roles in football, and let me tell you his first impression. Charisma, calmness, and confidence. We'll break down some key takeaways from his interview in a moment, but first let's hear what you, the fans, had to say about our new boss. Let's check out some of the top comments from our channel. You lot never disappoint. Our first fan said, Ruben speaks with so much composure. It's like he understands what this club means to us fans. I feel hopeful for the first time in ages. Hopeful, that's the word. After everything we've been through, it feels good to have a manager who not only gets the job, but gets us, you know? Another fan said, His confidence is infectious. I loved how he mentioned respecting United's history while being bold about creating a new chapter. That balance is key. Exactly. He's not here to rest on past glory. Amorim made it clear he's ready to build something special without forgetting what came before. A third supporter said, Finally, a manager who doesn't seem phased by the pressure. He's calm, collected, and focused. Just what we need. That calmness is so important especially at a club like United where the spotlight is always intense. Slybuji said, He has the charm and the aura. This is what we had been waiting for lads. Something special is about to happen in history of Man United after Sir Alex. Tom Linson, This man has a ton of charisma and I love that. It's refreshing and it's something United fans haven't had much of through the years. Gabriel Sariva, From a sporting fan, I'll now follow Man United to see the success of Amarim. He became a legend for sporting, and I believe in him. Maybe I'll start to support Man United as my Premier League team, who knows? John Mwangi said. Something just feels right with him. And Rita Laranjera replied, I think it's called authenticity. It really was a breath of fresh air for us sporting fans as well, regardless of some harder times we also faced with Ruben. Trust him and the team, even when things are going poorly. Support and nourishment are key, and all of ours players say so. And Sporting has been doing a good job with relatively cheap players, so that should tell you something. We're rooting for Ruben and Man United. Alright guys, thanks for your comments and keep them coming. Now let's pick out the key points in his interview. What exactly did Ruben say that got everyone buzzing? Amorim didn't hold back, and you can already sense his vision. First up, identity. This guy is all about sticking to his game model. No compromises. He made that crystal clear. If there was any doubt before his first interview at Old Trafford that Amarim would not do things his way, surely those fears have been allayed. United represents Amarim's first job in England, and you'd be forgiven for assuming he would be influenced by others around him, but that does not appear to be the case. The most important thing for me is identity. Since day one, we will start with our identity. Of course, we are going to prepare the games, but we will focus a lot in our game model, how to play, how to press, these small things, small details, you cannot go 100% on every detail because it, it will be confused for the, for the players. So, if I have to say one thing, my main goal, my, my first goal is identity. Exactly. He's not here to copy-paste someone else's style. He's all about focusing on how the team plays, how they press, and the finer details, but without overwhelming the players. It's refreshing, isn't it? Too many managers get bogged down trying to please everyone, but not Amarim. He's here to make his mark, his way. And it's even more impressive considering this is his first job outside of Portugal. Next, Ruben Amorim appreciates Manchester United's history. Despite having no experience of the Premier League as a player or a head coach, it is clear that the 39-year-old appreciates United's history. He's not ignoring the weight of the badge. When he talked about United's history, he was passionate. You think that history should inspire? the team. Oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. That's why we are Manchester United. That's why we are... A long time ago we don't win the Premier League. But if you ask, Manchester United is the biggest club in England. 
So this is part of the history, not now. So we have to, to address that, to show that, and to try to win again. He knows the responsibility he's carrying. That's the kind of respect fans love to hear. And speaking of fans, let's talk about his connection to the club's DNA. Amorim is known for giving young players a chance, and he's ready to continue that at United. During Amorim's spell at Sporting Lisbon, the Portuguese head coach was known for bringing academy prospects into the first team. With so many promising talents like Cheeto Obi Martin, Jace Fitzgerald, and Bendito Mantado hoping to break through, it appears that Amorim will give these academy prospects chances to impress. I don't want to say that we need time because we are a young team. They are prepared. They are prepared to cope with the, the demands of playing for Manchester United. They should be because they are, they are here. That's a direct challenge to these youngsters to step up. Confidence breeds confidence, right? And it doesn't stop there. Amarim seems to be winning over the fan base too. He said he felt an immediate connection with the club and the people. Since Sir Alex Ferguson retired from United back in 2013, every single permanent managerial appointment has been given vociferous backing from the Old Trafford support. This trend is set to continue under Amorim, with the Portuguese head coach meeting a select few on a tour of Old Trafford earlier this week and making a big impact amongst these supporters. First of all, I felt a connection with the club. And when I say with the club, everybody knows the Manchester United, but I felt a connection with the people in the club. And, and that is very important for me, because I, I want to work with people that I like and I feel a connection. The second point is the, the history of this club. All the people are hungry for, for success. This is the place I want to be, also because of that. Because you can be part of something special, uh, not just one more. And that is something that I, I really like. I loved this line. We can be part of something special. That is something I really like. It's the kind of optimism United fans have been craving. And his relationships off the pitch look promising, too. He's already clicked with the new Ineos hierarchy. Amarim was pictured with Dan Ashworth and Omar Barada when he visited Carrington, and it appears the head coach will have a fruitful relationship with the Ineos hierarchy. He mentioned how Omar Barada's vision and plans were a big factor in convincing him to taking the job. When Manchester United talked to me, Omar, they told me about their plans. It's a real honor because I was the, the first choice to start that path. It's a great responsibility, but you feel like honored and excited to, to be part of that. You could feel the excitement when he said, it's a great responsibility, but you feel honored and excited to be part of that. What a guy, right? Let me know in the comments, does this sound like a man ready to bring the glory days back to Old Trafford? So, what do you think of Ruben Amarim so far? Are you as impressed as I am? Share your thoughts down below, smash that like button if you're excited about this new chapter, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the Amarim era. Until next time, let's keep the red flag flying high.